Okay, welcome to our urban farm. We um, have uh, quite a bit of vegetables and some fruit, but uh, we're starting here in the upper raised beds where we have uh, pretty much an herb garden. Um, so we have sage and um, winter savory, uh, thyme, a little lavender thrown in, even though we don't eat that, and uh, that's lemon balm over there. Um, I have um, peppermint here, which is really fun with some of the Eastern recipes. And then more thyme, uh, marjoram, um, paragon. And then I'm experimenting with a goji berry. We'll see what that turns out. These are uh, planted last fall. They're blueberry bushes. It turns out they do rather well here. Okay, and then moving on, here's the uh, rosemary. It's striving to be a tree, however, um, but it's uh, all year round I can get rosemary from that. I don't know why it's so happy here, but it is. And then this is a flower bed, of course, but uh, we don't need those. Um, the garlic is ready to be harvested. We pulled the water off of it. So probably in a couple of days, we'll be pulling all that garlic out. Garlic is one of the easiest things to grow in the whole world. Everyone should be growing their garlic if you like to cook with it. Um, peach tree, um, I think she's about four years old, four or five years old. Um, we had a, a good peach crop this year. Um, brought um, Italian flat leaf parsley. It's easy to grow, it reseeds. And then here's the raspberry bed <laughs> that we've been spending long hours every day picking. They're almost on the downside now, but that's another easy crop that we don't really have any parasites or anything. And then um, also in this area is our pear tree. Um, so that's another nice source of fruit for us. And now we're gonna move down to the main vegetable garden. We do have uh, strawberries here and a um, very large cherry tree, which is very prolific. And it's a Stella cherry and it's a sweet cherry and it's wonderful. And just uh, one thing I want to point out is that we have a um, solar dryer that I built. It's, it takes two trays. There's nothing drying in it right now, but it really works well. So we dry cherries and um, pears and once the grapes are are um, ready. It makes wonderful raisins and it's no energy at all. And here's my gardening companion, Bertie. <laughs> okay, onto the beds. So we have uh, 15 uh, four by four raised beds. And one of the hallmarks of this when we set it up was the um, it's all uh, watered by uh, drip tapes. So there's eight lines going into each bed and they have individual cutoffs. So you can turn off any line that you want that you're not using. Or when that bed is empty, which we have um, one bed for sure that had fava beans in it, it's empty now. So we turned off all the water to it. So that's very handy. And um, it, um, and then we had a lot of volunteer deal this year, but I, I, I had to just cut them off. I couldn't think um, because we have all these holes for their ground bees. So I couldn't pull up. You're going to see a lot of cut off deal things, but we have to, we, we're, it's an organic garden. So we want to preserve the ground bees. They're really cute. Um, so we have about six tomato plants. There's kale and chard. And this is my pride and joy, my okra. Um, as you know, okra just loves sun. And so it really had a little shivery episode. I didn't even plant this till almost June 1st, but we had that cold spill and I did cover it with freeze cloth, but it still isn't happy. It doesn't like cool temperatures either, but it loves the sun. So it's now taking off. We should have a good crop this year. I'm very happy. Um, and then lots of peppers and basil, carrots, beets, and then all the viney things. 
or down here are down here growing crazy the butternut squash these are armenian cucumber zucchini of course and then last year we tried this ground cherry which if you haven't tried it it's wonderful it produces these little fruits they're in a little papery covering like tomatillos and they ripen and they produce these little yellow to orange berries inside the casing and they're fabulous and it's very very prolific very you'll love it and then of course there's a, um, a pie pumpkin although they're really getting big did you see this one holy cow it's going crazy and then the sorrel. The sorrel's just re recovering from being trimmed back because it was trying to go to seed. And this is its first year, so it's going to do better. Lots of peppers. They're even starting to ripen. This is pretty good. The basil is prolific. Um, I need to get busy making a pesto because it's really good. <laughs> and then over here, this is our evening happy area. So we sit out here in the garden and this is the grapevine. This grapevine was here when we brought this property in 88. And it, so it's a zillion years old and it's just produces grapes like crazy. And they're white sweet grapes and, and you can eat them, but we mostly dry them for raisins because it's, it's, uh, they're really good to snack on. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. I thank you for your attention.